calm waters across from the Mayport Naval Station, but across the bay, a celebration. The Jidan missile destroyer is one of three People's Liberation Army ships docking for the first time in the eastern United States on a world tour. Showing China is establishing a world-class navy. And thousands of kilometers away from the tensions in the South China Sea, a chance to highlight what unites the Chinese and US navies. Li Yu and her children, Rebecca and Miles, are full of that spirit. Everybody want to come here to see this. Uh, why is it so special, Chinese and American together? I think it's the first time, first time Chinese people to come all the way to here. I think for Chinese people or for American people, that's a very nice start, uh, everything. After 12 days at sea from Portugal, these Chinese sailors are happy to see land. And they're looking forward to a trip to Disney World and a shopping excursion, both arranged by the U.S. side and a full day of sports with their American counterparts, including a tug of war. The message from the U.S. hosts is that there's more in common between these mariners than divides them. No matter what difference exists between cultures, those who serve at sea share a common bond that can only be fully appreciated by sailors. Goodwill engagements such as this help to strengthen that spirit of friendship and understanding. These ships are part of an international coalition that have seen action recently in the Gulf of Aden, chasing Somali pirates away. Their commander says the Chinese Navy, along with the US, are taking on global responsibilities. The warm atmosphere here in Florida is a contrast to the tensions we have seen in recent weeks in the South China Sea. The message from this ship visit is a peaceful relationship can be built sailor to sailor, one port visit at a time. US officials are calling this port call routine. And in a way, that's what both navies want this sort of exchange to be. Routine, putting strategy differences when it comes to the South China Sea aside and working on common problems when it comes to the world's oceans. Let's see if that can happen. Nathan King, CCTV, Jacksonville, Florida.